Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another video. So as you guys read by the title, yes, Jelly Bean got banned. Around two days ago on Jelly Bean's Twitter, she put up a tweet that basically said that she got banned off of TikTok. And I mean, I wouldn't even say it's a surprise at this point, because it seems like TikTok likes banning a whole bunch of random people for no reason. And their moderation over there is something I really do not like, and that's one of the reasons why I don't like TikTok. Because you have people getting false copyright strikes, false community guideline strikes, false False suspensions and false bans. Like, why was Jelly Bean banned? Have you not seen her content? I asked Twitter, when is the worst time to say I love you to somebody? These are the responses. When you fart next to them on the bus. When it's seven in the morning and it's the teacher. When your hands touch as you pass the change to your cashier. That would be such a such a cute and intimate moment with the cashier. When the divorce is finalized. After you sue them, right after you send them a six-year-old Shrek meme, that would make them love me more if I sent them a Shrek meme. That's literally all her content is. And then we have people on TikTok who still haven't gotten banned, like Meowba over here. So TikTok, you're basically telling me that you were gonna ban Jelly Bean, but you're not gonna ban Meowba? Because I'm pretty sure Meowba has said worse things and done way worse things on your platform. Like, let's just compare a Jelly Bean video to a Meowba video, and then see which one deserves to be banned out of the two. Here's a jelly bean video. I asked Twitter to make up some holidays. These are the responses. Sub to Aoden Day. So people can sub to Aoden. I don't know, man. It seems kind of like a stupid holiday. Burger Day. I enjoy burger. You know what? I like it. It's very simple and short. Who doesn't like burgers? Sit on a couch day. You sit on a couch all day. Isn't that basically what everybody does nowadays? Just sit on the couch all day? I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. And here's a Meow Ba video. Reading Meow's TikTok comments. Can Meow Meow? Are you Japanese? Meow does not have a race. Meow is a doll. Dolls don't have races, silly. Meow wa ni hongo mo nahanwasu. Meow, can you say this kawaii word? Retard. Okay, retard. Konnichiwa, everybody. Meow just wanted to make a quick video to apologize to the disabled fandom. Mm. Meow... Yes, I think it's safe to say that I, in fact, do dislike this person a lot. Meowba. Man, I would literally binge watch Jelly Bean videos in order to get away from Meowba, literally. Now, I don't know about you guys, but whoever you think is worse, make sure you make your opinion count and leave a comment and say which one is the worst one, which one is worse than the other. And like I said, in my personal opinion, I'm going totally with Meowba because one, her content shit. Two, she's just a troll just trying to get that internet clout. And three, she has some cringe and anime voice that I really do not like. But yeah, besides that, I just found out that breaking news alert. Meowba has disappeared from TikTok and uh, took me a long time to find her because apparently she privated her TikTok. I don't know why she did this. Maybe she saw Jelly Bean get banned and then she was like, oh shit, I don't want to get banned myself so I might as well just go private my account that now has over 200,000 followers on it. I mean, to be totally honest with you, I don't know why she did private her account. I'm just guessing. All I do know though is that Jelly Jelly Bean did not deserve to get banned. Like TikTok moderation and just the way that TikTok runs their platform is literally just fucking horrible. Because even me myself, I've had issues with TikTok too, where they decided to claim my own music and say that somebody else owned my music. When I had my music custom made by a producer, one of my friends specifically, and then I licensed it to Destro Kid. And yeah, they're still saying that my music wasn't my music and it was some random person's music. I don't even know who it was but they better not be stealing my music and also i've had another issue with tiktok where i put up a commentary video with no music except for audio from my voice which is not music and then they basically said that that was copyright audio and i literally had nothing else playing in the background i literally just had my voice for a commentary video it was actually ridiculous now i've seen people in the past get banned for people like mass reporting them on tiktok specifically and i wouldn't even be surprised if that was the reason why they decided to ban jelly Bean from the platform because as you guys know a lot of people don't really like jelly bean and there are a lot of trolls out there so i really wouldn't be surprised if like a whole bunch of them decide to go report jelly beans tiktok and then try to get it banned because what else could she have done like you guys have seen her content and then we got the fact that meowba who said all these horrible things has still not been banned from the platform and you know how tiktok is with the whole harassment and bullying and shit like that like a lot of tiktok commentators always get their videos taken down but somehow 
somehow Meow Bot hasn't gotten her videos taken down. Like, I just think it's ridiculous. But I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you thought this video was informative, make sure you leave a like on the video so it gets promoted more in the algorithm. It would mean a lot. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to hit 15,000 subscribers before the summertime. If you had any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will get to it as fast as I can. And yes, guys, my name is Brio, not understanding why TikTok banned Jelly Bean, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.